Want to save money on your heating? Want to reduce your carbon footprint? Then I'll show you how with some new smart tech for the home. So here in the UK, especially at the time of filming, the cost of wholesale gas is rising at an unprecedented speed. Many energy supplies here in the UK have already gone bust and a few more are likely to do so. So what does this mean to consumers like you and me? Well, unfortunately, the wholesale gas price hike will be passed on to us. Even if you have a fixed price deal, when this comes to an end, or if you're on a flexible deal, then prices have already started rising for you. So how can you uh, reduce your usage, save yourself some money, and also be better off for the environment for that matter? We'll have some new smart tech here to show you. Hi, welcome to my channel, Rich Man Poor Tech. For new viewers, this is a technology focused channel and today's focus is on the Tado Smart Radiator Valves. Yes, 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 I know what you're thinking. I'm gonna save you money by getting you to spend some money first, but this is an investment and the cost savings will apply year on year, time after time, a bit like fitting loft insulation, double glazing or wall insulation. Now the alternative is to turn off your heating and hibernate. So all these uh, items have been purchased by myself. As always, links to the current prices in the description below to what I discuss. Now also I have the Tado Smart Heating Thermostat that controls your boiler directly coming up in my next video. And why I've chosen this over the Nest or Hive thermostat. So like and subscribe if you want to be notified on my future videos or click on the link above. But I thought I'd start off by talking about these smart thermostat radiator valve heads, as maybe this is the easiest DIY job that almost anyone can do without any DIY skills. And you can start saving your money on your heating straight away. You don't need the full boiler thermostat to get these working, although this can also save you more money and more usage. So how easy are these to fit? You just remove your old head and replace the Tado Smart Radiator Thermostat. Also, you have to add the bridge to your router's ethernet port for the Wi-Fi to work. So if you only buy one, then you need a starter set that includes a bridge, unless you already have the bridge with the uh, Tado Smart Thermostat, then these will work with that. And then each additional thermostat valve you add will work off that one starter set bridge. Now you only need one bridge for up to 25 devices on your network and you set up an app and create a free account. Now let's face it, once installed, these are visually an unattractive radiator valve, as far as radiator valves can be, with clean lines, a smart and easy to read LED display. So why do I say maybe the easiest job? Well, it all depends on what radiator valves you have fitted already. So if you have TRV valves, that's temperature reducing valves or thermostatic reducing valves, then these are normally found in new homes, then they're an easy swap. If you have the older simple valves, then you'd need to buy one of those TRV valves as well, like I have here. And then this is a bit more of a harder DIY or plumbing task, but it's still worth doing. I may show changing a basic valve over to a TRV valve and a smart head in another video. If this is something you'd like to see, then please leave a message in the comments below. So what are they? Why are they smart? And how is it gonna save money on your energy bills? Well, as with the standard radiator valve, which can turn on or off the flow of water to the radiator, the temperature or thermostatic reducing valves, like I had here, had the ability to do this rough, based on a rough plus or minus of the temperature in the room using the built-in thermostat. But this works at a slightly crude way. So you select the number on the dial, up or down, to when you feel comfortable, and then when your central heating came on, either with a manual timer or perhaps a thermostat somewhere else in the house, then the radiator in the room would come on whether you're in that room or not, even if the temperature in that room is okay, for example, sun coming through the windows. However, these smart radiator valves from Tado bring heating into the 21st century by a number of smart tech solutions that will save you energy by reducing your gas consumption. They're saving you money and reducing your carbon footprint at the same time. First off, you can now digitally select the temperature in degrees. These heads are accurate to 0.01 degrees, by the way. So no more guessing if the room's gonna to be too hot or too cold. Adjusting the valve, then readjusting the valve as you over or under shoot. So this allows you to make adjustments of the temperature by half a degree and get what you want first time every time. And it's easy to change the temperature in the day. Over the year, this can save you money and emissions. Second, and why I decided to do this video first before the main central heating thermostat video, you can change easily the temperature in any of the rooms of your house. So that box room that is only used once in a while could be say five or 10 degree cooler or completely off if you prefer, and easily adjusted when needed. Now you could do this automatically if you wish. Your home office can be warmer in the day than the rest of your house, and cool in the evening when you're not in it, saving your cost of heating the rest of your home while you're at work and your office while you're relaxing and watching TV or having dinner. So this means the boiler is not using as much gas, heating during the day or at night, this is another area of savings. 
Bedrooms can also be set at different temperatures, so warming up before you go to bed or waking you up in the morning. Smart enough for you? Now this is where they get really smart. As a smart device, it connects to the internet and you have a phone app they download either from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Now I only have the iPhone, so can only comment on using that app and that's very easy to use. Now the app also has geofencing. Geofencing, in case you didn't know, it's when your phone is in a certain position, location, the app knows this and can trigger certain actions. For example, when you leave the zone, it can tell you to turn down the heating. And when you return, it can tell you to start heating up again. Also, just a side note, if you have something like a Philips Hue lights, for example, shown in another one of my videos, then those can also work with geofencing and turn your lights on as you return home from well, as well if it's dark. So when you're away from home, you can set the temperature to what you want your house to be. So if you don't want it to be completely off, maybe you have pets or flagstone floors, for example, this again reduces the amount of gas your boiler is using. Again, another saving. Another clever feature is also outside weather. It also knows the outside temperature and if it's sunny, for example, which will warm your house more. As the sun penetrates the windows, then this controls the heating, allowing for the impact of the hot sunny weather outside. Now how smart is that? Also for a small monthly fee, you can also have some additional smart features. So you can have automatic geofencing from Tado. This can automatically turn your heating up and down as you come and go. Um, so with multiple phones, up to 100 in fact, and so this can be very useful for an office installation. So notice for example, if two people are out of the house, but one remains behind, assuming they all have their phones with them, of course, then the heating will stay on as usual. And when that last person leaves, it turns the heating down or off. Also, it can start heating when the first person is coming home. So you still enter a warm house. Not from a preset timer, but when it actually detects that you're traveling home. So handy if you don't work a predefined nine to five, for example. If you don't want to pay a fee for this, then it will send you a message to your phone and you can manually do this from the app. Now this next feature blows my mind. It can even detect if you have an open window and turn off the heating. How many of us have left a door open, for instance, only to find that the radiator is full blast when we come back in? Now, if I can only get it to work with my automatic curtains and bring me a cup of tea in the morning. Okay, I could for configure if there's an app to operate my curtains. Maybe I'll do this in another video. It can also monitor your heating system and detect changes. This would have been helpful when my boiler's hot water heating came on at the same time due to a fault. Being alerted to this would have helped as the temperature in my house was rising higher than the set thermostat. So I was using more gas and it was costing me money. You also get insights and tips on how to make your home climate even better on your phone. And now, as with the famous words of Steve Jobs, one more thing. It also works with the main voice assistants like Amazon Echo, better known as Alexa, Google Voice Assistants and Apple's HomeKit. So you can tell it to change the heating temperature by degrees or turn off a certain room, for example. Also what the temperature is in that room. And if this isn't enough, if you need more convincing, then Tado also states on its website, it saves energy or your money back guaranteed. What can be better than that? Now they also have a child lock function to stop the manual rotation of the head changing the temperature of the thermostat. So you just use the app in this case. If this is something you need, handy if you have toddlers or small children, or perhaps your uh, partner keeps turning up when, they leave, when you leave the room. So now on to build quality. Compared to this TRV valve I have here, you can feel a step up in the quality of the body. It's made from a polycarbonate and ABS plastic and has a decent feel to it. However, the rotating cap could feel better. If it's a little bit cheap considering its price, although you may not even use it once set up. I would have expected from a German registered company a high quality feel to the finish. And I feel that it's lacking somewhat to the likes of say the Nest thermostat, for example. Now the display is LED, clear and easy to read, and the orientation can be changed to suit horizontal or vertical installations. The lights also go off, so there's no annoying light shining when you're going to sleep. It just comes on if the settings have been changed. Just remember that when using the radiator only smart valves, then the radiators will not come on if your boiler is off. For example, if you have a non-smart thermostat set below the current room temperature. So thanks for watching.